Hi folks, Mr. Tesslonian back here again. I want to take you through one of the most important pieces of an electrostatic generator, which is a step-down transformer. Uh, this system right here allows you to convert the very, very high voltage current that we're producing in the Wimshurst electrostatic generator to a more usable current. Uh, in this model here, what you see looks like capacitors, but these are actually what are called step-down transformers. Each one of these are wired from one of our uh, major uh, primary capacitors here, from the inner part of that capacitor, wired down to the inside here of this uh, tube with aluminum foil. So basically, a single layer wrap of aluminum foil around the outside of a PVC pipe, which is like a capacitor, but inside of this, what we have is a coil. Uh, wrapped and, and set inside of that tube, equal height in there to what's going on on the outside in aluminum foil. And that's given us basically a transformer coil, but instead of like a normal transformer which has another coil on the outside of that to receive that power and transform to a lower or higher voltage, what we have here is just a capacitor coil. And then from this uh, step down transformer, what I have here is a brass rod making connection with the outer uh, aluminum foil plate to the inside coil of our next step down transformer here. And I've got our positive lead to our meter set against the outer layer of aluminum foil on this side. And you can see our negative lead running over there to the outer layer of aluminum foil on that side. And this side's also the same thing. So once again, we have a uh, nice thick copper wire running down to a coil inside of there, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, you can actually look down inside the pipe here. If I zoom in, you can see our copper coil kind of down in there. Uh, that's a nice thick number six copper ground wire right there for house grounding. Uh, that's good primary coil inside of there to help step down this high voltage current. And inside of the sit pipe here, we've got the same thing. Maybe if I zoom in, you can kind of get a glimpse of that coil that's sitting inside of there. All right, so what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to take these apart, at least one of them, and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside of a step down transformer. And let me give you a little more of a... Uh, to scale view here of what it looks like. Once again, they're just PVC pipe. Uh, this is just a connector wire here to do test off of. Don't no, pay attention to that. Uh, we've got aluminum foil on the outside and then coils on the inside. And what I've done is run one lead from one set of capacitors to two step down transformers and the other lead from our other capacitor to two step down transformers. And from the outer two step downs, what we're doing is we're going to take a reading with our meter. And we're going to see if we can't bring this voltage to something well below the, the you know, 800,000 volts or half a million volts that it's producing at the generator in the Wimshurst. All right, folks, so what I've got here is one of our coils from inside of a step down transformer. You can see it's just a copper coil wrapped all the way around. One thing you're going to want to do to these, because we're working with plasma, and any sharp edge is going to uh, emit plasma and kind of ruin the effects. So you're going to want to cover this with a rubber coating. Any sharp edges on these anywhere. Uh, file them down, make sure they're nice and rounded, then cover them with an insulator of some kind. Uh, so anyways, this is actually recessed down inside of our PVC pipe, just like this. I hope you can see that in the shot there. Uh, that's actually given us, and hooked right up to our capacitor up top up there, that actually give us the transformer effect. And because we're using electrostatic, we need an electrostatic cover or a, an induction plate on the outside to be able to transform this current. Uh, this is an easy way to build a step-down transformer, and like you can see, it's literally just a copper coil, piece of PVC pipe, and some aluminum foil. And you always take your measurement from the exterior aluminum foil. That's where you're going to run your, your power from. That's where your step-down current is. Uh, so let me go ahead and set this up. We're going to turn the generator. I'm going to show you what kind of voltage we can actually produce out of this Wimshurst. All right, folks, here we go. A test of our step-down transformer. There you go, folks. That should be a pretty good demonstration of just how well our step-down transformer bank is working. 
we were holding probably right around the 31, 33 volt marker. Uh, that stepped down from 300 to 400 volts uh, from our first series of step down transfer.